so in the last video i told you that i was going to learn the programming language rust and today i just dockerized the rust api and put it on an amazon ec2 instance one server is in node.js one server is in rust and we're going to be seeing which one's faster all right so let me go into my ec2 instance now we are going to see sudo docker ps so these are the services running over here the first one is a uh, javascript api and the second one is a uh, rust api so if i do this i'm going to get a response and if i do the same thing for the javascript thing you know the deal it's going to give me a response is my javascript server so it's pretty simple i'm going to use a tool called this and just in case this fa fails i have uh, some measurements which i did earlier today with 30000 requests which worked out pretty well so i'm going to give you this first we are going to do the javascript server so let's just hope to god that everything goes well all right that's the javascript for server everything went well second we are going to go okay we have this information i hope okay we don't have that we cleared it that's fine <laughs> let's do the same for the car the rust server and let's see what rust does all right so you know you already know that rust was faster all right let's not even discuss anything about it let's just go to this uh, information that i've stored for you with 30000 of the rec of these requests so if you pay attention here the axum server took 6 seconds and the node js server took 14 th 14 seconds uh, which is almost half <laughs> i mean that's crazy more than half time per request was you can see that and the most interesting one is requests per second which is 2000 and this is 5000 this is insane right this is crazy uh, unfortunately node.js is the easiest to hire uh, in the world right now so uh, node it doesn't matter how slow it is everyone is going to choose node.js anyways so uh yeah that's pretty much it i think i'm i'm having some good progress in rust